Do you need a new website but you're not sure where to start? And are you wondering about these seemingly simple website builders from Wix, Weebly, Squarespace and you wonder if that's all you need or whether you need to go with something more robust? Well, I have a very unique perspective on this. I've been designing websites since 1998 and after hundreds and hundreds of websites, including over 150 websites for integrative health practitioners just like you, I know a thing or two about what it takes to create a website that really works, that really fills your practice predictably with ideal patients. Now, typically what happens when a practitioner goes out and uh, looks for a web designer, um, they find a web designer, they agree on the price, and the web designer typically says, of course I can build you a website for your practice. But what they don't tell you is that they're really looking to you to be the guiding force, to be in a driver's seat and tell them what you want. You know, what content do you want? What pages do we need? Who's writing the copy? Who's doing the lead magnets? Email marketing, right? They're not asking you any of this. They expect you to tell them that this is what you want them to build. And so invariably what happens is that 18 months later, the website is finally launching. It is full of practitioner-centric copy, full of copy about your services, your credentials. It looks like every other website out there. And the fact is, it's not working because the people that come to your website are rarely in a position where they're ready to transact. Only 2% of first time website visitors are actually signing up for a consultation. So you really have to nurture the other 98%. And those 98%, they're not even ready to become your patient. So they're just testing the waters and what they need to see on your website is not your services, you're offering your credentials. What they need to see is, um, how can you help me? Are you addressing the problem that I have? So the better you articulate the problem that you can help them solve, the more engagement you will create. And what you want to do there is because most people are not ready to sign up for a phone consultation is capture the email address. So my measure of success for a health practice website is how well are you capturing people's email addresses? Because if you don't capture the email addresses, you have no way to stay in touch with them and deliver the next touch points. And we know it takes on average seven to 10 touch points to go from a no to a yes. The no typically means no, not right now, or no, not yet. So you have to first earn your right to uh, count them as a patient. And so in order for you to nurture them, you need to send them emails, maybe videos, but the only way you can send them emails is if you have your email address. So this is why you need lead magnets. So when it comes to hiring a web designer for your integrative health practice website, you should ask them a couple of questions. Number one, are you helping me with a copy? And is the copy patient centric as opposed to practitioner centric? Number two, are you helping me create lead magnets? You know, can you propose lead magnet titles that are converting in my field? And number three, are you helping with me with email copy, writing a nurture sequence that converts initial subscribers into actual phone consultations? And then finally, are you gonna add an online appointment schedule to my website so that prospective patients can easily schedule a phone consultation with me? So I hope you can see why those ingredients are critical and why most web designers are not asking the right questions. So if you want my cheat sheet on which questions to ask the web designer and what features your website should have, then post in the comments checklist and I'll hook you up with our list. And if you have any other comments or questions, uh, post them as well. Happy to answer and help you out. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and share. Plus, check out my other videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified whenever new videos go live. I'll see you in the next video.